With Corel Paint Shop Pro 2018, you can create a truly unique holiday card to send to friends and family. Not only will you get to share your photos with people you care about, you'll be able to amaze them with your creativity and thoughtfulness. All you need for this project is Corel Paint Shop Pro, the free holiday template, and a digital photo that you'd like to use for your holiday card. We're going to take a look at how you can use this template and customize it with your own image. We'll also look at editing text and finally outputting the file. So let's get started. If you have not yet downloaded this free template, you can find the link in the tutorial description. Once you have the file, open it in PaintShop Pro. If you're not sure how to, make sure that the organizer tray is open along the bottom of the screen. If it's not, then right-click the mouse on a blank area of a toolbar, go down to Palettes, and select Organizer. Now, click the first icon on the top of the organizer, the yellow folders. This will toggle the navigator on and off. With the navigator open, select the Computer tab at the top, and navigate to the folder that has your template. It will more than likely be the Downloads folder, unless you've saved it to a different location. I have mine saved on my desktop in a subfolder, so I'm going to go up to Desktop, under DC Projects, Tutorials, and of course PSP Tutorials, and here we have the 2017 uh, Holiday Calendar. I'm going to select that, and now on my organizer, you can see that I have my two templates that are available, as well as the image that I'm going to use. Now, on the Layers palette on the right-hand side, you can see a number of different layers. If your Layers palette is not opened, again, right-click a blank area, go down to Palettes, and make sure that Layers is selected. In the Layers palette, we can see a number of different layers. Edit your text. Of course, if I select that, it will allow me to edit my text. Your photo goes into this layer, and these are a group of layers. Put your photo below this mask layer, and here we have one, put your photo above this layer. So it's fairly simple to follow this. I'm simply going to take my image, I'm going to drag and drop, and put it in between these two layers. I'll let my mouse button go, and there we have the image in my uh, template. Now I'm going to zoom out a little bit more, and I want to move this into position And I actually like that. I think that's that's pretty good. All I need to do now is edit my text. So I'm going to click on the Edit Your Text Here layer. Once that's selected, I'll select my Text Tool. And then I can double-click on the text on the image itself. That's going to highlight the text for me, or insert my cursor, and allow me to edit this. I'm just going to put in the names of my family. This is the Anderson family, and we have Tom, Sachin, Stephanie, and of course, Tammy. Now, if our text was to wrap around to a second line, we may want to adjust the leading of that. Let me explain that. I'm going to hit Enter, and I'll type in the Andersons, and you'll notice that the text, there's a fair amount of space in between. We call this leading. What I'm going to do is I'll select the text, and on my property bar at the top, I'm going to select this icon, and here I can adjust my leading. I'm going to drop this down to zero, and that's fine by me. I'm going to select my pick tool, and you can see that I've now closed up the text. For this one, I'm going to remove the name of the Andersons, so I want to make sure that I have my Edit Text layer selected. I want to make sure I have my Text Tools selected. I'll click in here, and I'm just going to back this out. Now, if I wanted to edit the color of the text, it's simply a matter with the Text tool selected. I'm going to highlight my text, and then in my Materials palette, I can click on whatever color I want to change that text to. I would do a right mouse click. I'm not going to change the color of the text, but if you wanted to, it's as simple as that. 
Now, if you want to go back and work on your card later on, when you save the file out, it's important to save it as a PS image file. I'm going to uh, save it to this folder, and let's just call this Holiday Card The Andersons. I want to make sure that I save it as a PS image file, and then just simply click on Save. Now, if I'm going to take this file to a print shop, such as a Staples or, or a Best Buy or something like that, to have this uh, file printed, I simply go to my File menu, and I select Save As, and I'm going to save this out as a JPEG. This will basically flatten the file for me, and it's readable by a number of different uh, uh, print shops and that sort of thing. And then it's simply a matter of clicking on Save. So the JPEG is the file format that I want to use. As I say, it's going to flatten the image, and it's going to allow me to just copy this to a thumb drive, and I can take it to a print shop. I'm going to click on Yes for this, and that's really all there is to it. Thanks for watching this video on how to create a card using PaintShop Pro, and have a safe and happy holiday season.